there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to use the MB Glitter Overlays. So this is the photo I'm going to use to apply the overlays, and then I'm just going to go to File, and then I'm going to, going to go to Place Embedded. If you are on an earlier version of Photoshop, this is Photoshop CC, um, earlier versions of Photoshop, it will probably just say Place. Um, just choose that option, and then the, a screen will pop up where you can choose the overlay you want to place on top of your image. So um, just navigate to wherever you saved your glitter overlays and then pull open the one you want to use. I'm just going to select free fall and then hit place. Now if you notice these glitter overlays have a black background. It might look a little scary at first. These files are not transparent. Um, they're JPEG files that have a black background. So all that means is that you're going to need to, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the check mark here or the enter button on my keyboard to um, select that change. There we go. And then what you'll need to do is go to right over here where it says normal. You can click that and choose screen. And that's all you need to do to get the overlay to look transparent over your photo. So um, also I missed a step. When you're in, after you place the file, that bounding box allows you to resize it. So if these aren't the perfect size for your photo, you can do that before hitting the check mark or hitting the enter key like I did. Sorry to have skipped that step. Okay, so once you have placed your overlay in screen blend mode, here you'll notice that a few of the flakes um, of glitter fall over her face. So all we're gonna do to adjust that is click this little rectangular button at the bottom of your layers panel. It has the little circle inside. You're just gonna click that, maybe, and it will, oh, there we go. It'll apply this white layer mask to your photo. Now all this white layer mask is, is basically like a little window to whatever this effect is, and in this case it's our glitter. So we're gonna close the window by painting with black anywhere we wish to remove this effect from our photo. And so my opacity is actually set to 40. I'm gonna do that at 100 because um, we're just gonna paint it right off. So now all you have to do is just select, or paint, I'm sorry, over any of the spots you wish to remove. So here I feel like this is a little bit too overwhelming over her face, so I'm just gonna remove a couple of the big flakes. I like the believability factor that comes with a few of the flakes over her, um, but I don't want to draw focus away from her so much, which I feel like too many of the flakes near her face do. So now you can see before and after. Um, if there's anything you notice that's a little bit weird, you can keep painting it off. So just turn that on and off and see your changes. And if there's anything that looks a little iffy when you shut that on and off, then you can use your layer mask to remove it from those areas. So I'm gonna show you one other thing. Um, and that is that sometimes depending on the tone of your background, here the background has some, some darkness to it. So the glitter shows up really well. If it doesn't on your photo and you don't want to darken your image, which is another option, you can. Um, right below the glitter layer, if I were to come in here and use a levels layer, I could darken the photo up a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna hit Control or Command I on my keyboard. And then choosing a white brush, because now we've turned off, using that black layer mask, we turned off that darkness. So you can paint it in here. So um, this is at 100% opacity, so you definitely don't have to do it that harsh. I'm gonna hit the four on my keyboard to change it to 40% opacity. And then see so you can paint some darkness in here and that makes the glitter show up a lot better. However, if you don't feel like darkening your, um, your image, you don't have to. I'm gonna delete this and show you what I mean. So here, what we have the uh, glitter overlay selected and I'm gonna come in here to this little half white, half black circle, click that and then I think I'm gonna choose brightness contrast. And so what I wanna do first before I make any adjustments here is I wanna tell this new layer that we only want to affect the glitter. So we're gonna right click on that new layer. So I just right clicked right on the brightness contrast layer and hit create clipping mask. And if you notice this little arrow now tells us this layer is only gonna affect that glitter. So now what we can do is we can adjust these sliders up here and make our glitter brighter or dimmer depending on what we want. So um, that's what the brightness slider will do. And then contrast will kind of affect the, how much of the glitter shows up. Like if you increase the contrast, uh, the shadier or the hazier um, 
pieces of glitter should fade a little bit more. So you can play with these sliders in here and, and tweak the glitter to best suit your photo. So you can brighten it up, you can turn it down a little bit, um, but also remember that on this glitter layer, you can also reduce the opacity here. So if you like the glitter, it's just a little too bright, you can turn it down that way as well. Um, okay, so I said I was gonna show you one more thing, but I fibbed, I'm gonna show you another thing. Um, so here we can do the same little technique, just hit the black and white circle and choose, I'm gonna choose hue saturation this time. And again, I'm gonna remind this layer that we wanna to clip to the glitter. So I'm gonna hit create clipping mask. And now both of these layers are clipped, so they will both affect the glitter. So here with the hue saturation, you can turn the saturation of this glitter down if you, I'm actually gonna delete the brightness contrast layer so we can see the glitter. Um, okay, so you can turn the saturation down if you don't like the gold and you just want it to you know, look more white, you can do it that way. Or you can turn the opacity, or I mean the saturation, I'm sorry, up, so to make it more gold. And the hue layer will allow you to change the color of the flax. Now this doesn't always look its best, sometimes that, that looks a little bit funny, um, but you can play around with these sliders and just using a clipping mask to make sure it applies to the glitter, you can tweak these to your heart's content. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you love the glitter overlays. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.